Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's docuseries has been criticized by a royal commentator claiming the series doesn't provide any proof of their interactions with Prince William. Meghan and Harry's new docuseries lacks proof according to a royal commentator. He added that the couple's popularity in the UK has hit an all-time low. That's an understatement, really. To say plummeted, I don't think it could go any lower, to be honest. Royal commentator Neil Sean told Fox News. He added, It's a disgraceful situation that they put themselves in, and I think what's interesting that a lot of people are forgetting is, first of all, it's a one sided story. Sean claimed that Meghan had misled the media before, pointing to an instance in which the Duchess apologized for misleading the court over her recollection of information being given by one of her raids to authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand while they were working on a flattering biography of the Sussexes, Finding Freedom. Sean said, Harry holds up this phone and says he has received a text from William, how do we know? We don't see. This is where it becomes really sort of convoluted and I think people are also forgetting that Meghan Markle herself misled the media. She colluded with that, Finding Freedom, book. She misled the court and then suddenly remembered, only because her former assistant decided to go public with those texts. He added, Can you really believe anything that Harry and Meghan are doing? They are making money, good for them. But at what cost? detriment to the British monarchy, to be frank. Much of the last episode in the documentary series details Meghan's decision to take on the mail on Sunday for publishing a letter written to Meghan's estranged father, Thomas Markle. During the newspaper's appeal against the summary judgment in the case awarded in favor of the Duchess, new evidence came to light that one of Meghan's aides had provided information to Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand with her knowledge and had emails to back up his claims. In a 2021 written apology, Meghan admitted that her former PR chief Jason Knauf was instructed to brief the authors despite an earlier statement that her and Prince Harry did not contribute to the book. In a witness statement to the court, Mr. Knauf said the book was discussed on a routine basis, which was discussed directly with the Duchess multiple times in person and over email. Meghan said in her own witness statement, I accept that Mr. Knauf did provide some information to the authors for the book and that he did so with my knowledge, for a meeting that he planned for with the authors in his capacity as communications secretary. The extent of the information he shared is unknown to me. When I approved the passage, I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologized to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. These statements, made last year, came to a head again with the release of the second half of Harry Meghan yesterday. In the series, Meghan's lawyer Jenny Fee alleged that Prince William would have given consent for Mr. Knopf's witness statement to go ahead. She said, a senior member of the Duke of Cambridge's team came forward to give this witness statement which wasn't required. And sadly there is just no way he could have done that without the authority of his bosses. Miss Afia claimed that Mr. Knopf's witness statement had no legal significance on the case whatsoever but was filed due to the impact on Meghan's reputation was potentially damaging. However, Mr. Knauf has refuted this with a representative telling the Daily Mail that the claims were entirely false. They said, these claims are entirely false. Mr. Knauf was asked to provide evidence by both the Duchess of Sussex and Associated Newspapers. He was advised by counsel that evidence in his possession could be relevant, and he then provided this directly to the court, staying neutral in the process. However Meghan's legal team hit back, telling the paper, Mr. Knauf was not asked to provide a witness statement by the Duchess of her team. Nor do her attorneys believe Mr. Knauf remained neutral by submitting a witness statement relied on by Associated Newspapers whilst working for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. But Mr. Knopf's representative hit back, saying, The Duchess of Sussex and Genefia contacted Mr. Knauf in writing, asking him to assist in the preparation of their legal case. The bombshell docuseries has been a huge source of contention in the media and among royal watchers. It comes as part of a Netflix deal with the Sussexes, reportedly worth $100 million.